Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermit Trent. Today we're getting back to basics for those who haven't been to my channel. 101 on how to make these simple, easy, pretty flowers using one brush, one simple stroke. So let's get started. All right, we'll go over supplies. Um, I have pieces, arches, 100% cotton. It's like a five by seven piece. People keep asking me what's the paper and I keep saying it's arches. It's this pad right here the fine grain, cold pressed, 100% cotton, see, cotton paper. It's just a pad. And this is a 10 by 14 inch pad. I break it up into pieces. Um, I do it in half or then even more than that, or just sometimes I paint the size itself, but it doesn't, I can't really fit it in the camera. I have my paints in here, my paper towel. I'm going to be using one brush today. The Princeton number no. five round velvet touch series. I have water jars up here, so you can see them. So these are going to be simple, simple stroke flowers. I mean, I've shown them many times in the tutorial, but I'm really showing these for the new beginners who haven't come to this channel yet, how simple this is. You have a small brush like this, it has a good belly to it and has a nice point to it. So you can use it to your advantage and how you use the brush. So I put water on my brush first. You hear me clank it off. And I mixed up some, I took some purple paint right here purple violet and some ultramarine blue and right now it's a creamy texture which means very little water but I want to add more water to this get it looser so get some more water on this brush we're gonna do simple strokes this particular flower it's just a simple back and forth stroke movement. So take your brush and you're going back and forth like so. There, back and forth. Getting close to each other, not hitting them yet. Back and forth. Or if you're doing this way, just pulling it straight down. But on the side, you're going to go back and forth or pulling it straight down. Just simple strokes using this little brush. And you get close to each other when you meet, but you don't touch the middle. And then you're going to go in and grab your darker paint, which is basically right from the tube, the blue and the purple. I've shown this many times. And you're just going to tap in the center and have it bleed out. That's why this paper is key, because this paper will bleed a nice bleed. And you have this really pretty something, flower. Just so simple. Just that one simple flower alone, just by bleeding it in that dark color. For the green, I have just um, some hooker's green with some medium green, just simple green color. You can use whatever green color you have. I'm just gonna pull down the stem like so, and then you use this brush to your advantage for the leaves coming off the stem. You're pushing down and pulling up and getting close to the tip and to the edge there. You can do it backwards the other way. You take the brush tip and you're going outward. Let me go and zoom in a little bit. And then you're just pushing down and then pulling up. And then you just fill in the areas that are white. And then you can use the tip to make it pointy, like so. And that is like the simplest flower on the planet that you can paint. In the center, once it dries, you can go in and add a little yellow. And you have this really pretty flower. I mean, you can make a whole pattern of these, different sizes. See, same thing. You're just taking the paintbrush, just either back and forth or up and down like this. And you can make it a four petal flower or not four petal flower, even a five petal flower. Same premise, getting it close to each other, but not the center, you grab that darker paint and you're dabbing it just in the middle. And you're grabbing your green and you're making. Now, if you don't want to do the push down pull up method, you can use the regular method, just pushing the paint like this and like this and making a leaf that way. So, a curve line here, meet to the stem. Curve line here, meet to the stem. You can leave the halo or fold in. These are simple brush strokes to make simple flowers. 
it's super easy this is definitely easy for a beginner this is a small brush like I said this is a number five brush it has a small tip it has a small belly and you're just taking this paint see I'm going going towards in a V in a V shape coming towards me then over here coming towards the other way or if that's difficult you can do that back and forth like I showed you again you can make this one a five prong petal, petal leaf go in and take that darker paint just tap that right in while that's still wet it's wet but it's not it's damp more than wet so it's bleeding nicely if it's really wet it's going to bleed and make this kind of like hard edges which you don't like again take the stem you could hit the green to the purple and it's still pretty you can use the paintbrush to your advantage pushing down and pulling up like that or you can paint the typical leaf and that's just a really simple flower any basic painter of watercolor can paint this um, why I suggest that if you want to do this technique with the bleeding you're going to need the arches paper the other papers don't bleed well like that they have a different kind of hard edge bleed now see this if you run into this problem if you don't like this hard edge how it is right now how dark that is you can take your brush clean it off get some water on it just a little bit of water and you can push it around a little small circular motion and then push it out or we'll just hit the edges of it and push that out and that's how you can manipulate it I've shown this many times in my tutorials I like it like this it's it's fun they're easy to do if you like the little halo of the dark tones and again while that's still a little damp you can go back in and bleed that out again and it bleeds more you see that it's bleeding more than it was here so you can go back over them get a little water again just touch the edge of that and just push the paint back and forth just to blend it if you don't it will create a hard edge and then you can go back in and grab the darker paint and have it bleed simple 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 so that's one really simple easy flower to do we're going to move on to another one okay moving on to another flower first i'm going to make us some green i'm going to take my medium green here zoom this out so you can see and some hookers green again medium green and i'll add some burnt umber okay I've shown this many times in my videos again I'll show you again here these are like little stem flowers so you can get the paint on your brush I like to dab it on my paper towel and we're gonna make a three or three to four prime stem so we're gonna make a stem curve it like this we're gonna add some stems next to it one two you can add two let's add another one three and we'll do another one here stem connect the stem another one another one just like that clean off our brush I've mixed up some pink paint that I have here this is just very inexpensive permanent pink from artist loft some medium red paint here together to get this pretty pink again with this brush stroke it's just up and down or you're just making this simple look how simple this is taking your brush stroke down meet 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 but leaving like a little space so you have like a almost like a fork you see that a little fork so again you see how I'm using the brush curve it stroke meet meet but don't touch the top don't let these top pieces touch you're just letting the bottom ones touch again stroke 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 and then you can take some deeper red which is I have a lizard crimson paint here same premise as the first flowers and you can dab it on the bottom here and let that bleed up 
that has a nice look to it. Here we go again. They're almost like tulips, the way you do this little stem flowers. You can have them curved or have more like a V like I did here. And again, you can go in and add some of that deeper tone red in the bottom. We'll make another stem up here. The stem up here. No branches. Same flowers. Now we're going a little faster because we're getting used to it. And it'd be more looser. The faster you are, the looser you are. Now for the leaves, you're going to make small leaves using the brush to your advantage. Take the little brush. You can just push down like that and meet to the stem. Push down and meet to the stem. That is so simple. For a super beginner, that's all you're doing. You see, you're just pushing and touching the stem. But as you're pushing the stem, you're pulling the, you're lifting up the brush. So you're pushing down, but lifting up the brush and touching the stem as you're going towards the stem. Down, lift, go towards the stem. That's how you push the, that's how you use the brush to your advantage. Get the used to it, you know, just, it takes time. And once you get used to it, you can just whip in some little leaves pretty quickly. And you can do a bunch of these and that would be a pretty look. And then when you combine all the flowers together, you can make a bouquet. This is just really, I'm trying to get back to the basics for some people. Uh, who think some of my tutorials might be too hard. Um, basically lines, see that? Just making these simple line branches, like so. Doing a bunch of them. You go back in, you clean off your brush, you take your paint, and you're just making those simple little flowers. These are very simple and they're very cute any color tone you want. I just chose pink to change it to change it the colors that we were using before. Even if you make a mistake where it's a little blobby like this one, if you don't want like a separation, that looks just as nice. You know, and then again, it's just like a practice doodling you can be doing just to get used to painting. See, I'm just pushing that paintbrush as the little leaves. That's how it makes it loose, not so serious. Go back, if that green gets too light, just go back on top of that. You can add in some deeper tone greens towards the stems. just to make a variety with your greens. Or not. You can keep them all like one tone. Depends on the look you're going for. Again, you go and grab the darker red if you want. And oops, that's why I dabbed on the paper towel. Too much paint. Just touch it, tip just a little teeny dot when it's still a little wet if you want it to bleed in. And you have to manipulate it if it doesn't. You see I'm doing that, I'm manipulating some of them. Which is just as nice. But these are really simple. Super beginner. See, if I bled this too much like this, you fill it in. Go back again. Now it's damp. It's not super wet. You can go in and add that deeper red and tap it and it will bleed the way it's supposed to. There's the tips and techniques on how to do that. So I'm showing you the same things that I do myself. And you know, having them having little imperfections is kind of nice. There's that simple flower, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, last but not least, we're going to make a simple 
daisy type flower. Now I have mixed, this is dark yellow with the light yellow. I threw in a touch of brown just to dull it down just a little bit. Now it's got creamy texture. I'm going to get a little more loose. Same brush. I'm going to use the brush to our advantage. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold it like this, like a pencil. I'm just going to push down, pull up. Look at that. That is a daisy. See, we used the leaf technique to make a simple daisy. And you want to move your paper around if you can't manipulate your hand. And you don't want to do it so much in a perfect circle. So I go back like that. And there's your daisy. Look at that. Pushing down and up, down and up, down and up. This is basic 101. See, I'm manipulating the brush, holding it this way. And that way, we're doing the same type of movement. That's why it's nice, it's just, you know, this nice, small, round brush. It's so great for these little kind of flowers. And you use the brush to your advantage to paint the flowers. Just a simple stroke. That's why it's good to have a bunch of varieties. Now this brush is in the Velvet Touch series. This is the number five. Um, some of the Velvet Touches come in four or five packs on Amazon. I bought this at Dick Blick. Um, you should have a good amount of, you should have a small brush, a medium brush. So I have a small round. I have a long round. Of course now I can't find it, which is funny. Oh, it's in my water jug. Okay. So it's good to have a, a few good brushes. A small, it's a long round, number eight. I have a five and an eight. I have um, a fatter one, which is a Princeton Neptune eight. See the difference? The eights, these are the two eights. Oops, sorry, you're not seeing these. Let me zoom back out so you can see these. So this is it a long round, long round, has a long tip. This is the round eight. Neptune series. Also, you can find Neptune on Amazon. See the belly is bigger and it's shorter on the top. It makes different strokes. That's why the brushes are important to have different varieties of brushes. And then we have even bigger ones. Like there's a Princeton Neptune number 12. See so that huge belly to make big brush strokes for bigger flowers. But for these small little flowers, a small little brush, this one is fantastic. It's the Princeton number no. five round velvet touch series. And you're just making the simple daisies. Not doing anything that's that nobody else that anybody else can't do. You just you just put the paint on the brush and you're just putting it down, pulling it up. Simple, simple, simple. Now you can leave the centers white like a white daisy, or you can put a black dot and so it's like a black eyed Susan with the greenery. You're gonna put a stem down like we did before. Just doing simple stems. Daisy leaves have that the little bumps that go like this. But you don't have to do that. You can do a simple petal, a simple leaf, which I might just do here, and then take that one away. Don't make it difficult for yourself, just when you're starting out. The same premise for the leaves, pull down, pull up. Curve it to one side, curve it to the other side. See, I'm curving it and then curving it, curving it, curving it. If you can draw a leaf, you can paint it. You definitely can. Think of your paintbrush as a pen in a way, but you manipulate it in certain ways by holding it and how much paint you have on it. 
So there you go, and then you could add the center. Now, when I add my black centers, if it's going to be a black eyed Susan leaf, I mean, flower, I'm mixing up some black over here. This is more of a brown black. I'll add a little indigo, make it more of a blue black. Not too wet, good consistency. And then I'd, if it's not too wet, which is great because it will bleed into the yellow and you don't want that. I paint the circle, but in many of my tutorials, I like to leave the halo, which means you're not gonna paint all of it. And you have this nice little cute little halo. So you're painting almost all of it, but leaving a little white. Can you see that? I'll zoom in a little better. You're painting this and leaving a halo. If you forgot to do that, leave the leave the white part. You can just use some white acrylic or white gouache paint and put a paint in a little halo with that. And that will just do the same thing. If you want to get fancy, even this is dry, you can add just a little darker tone of yellow. Take the dark yellow mixed with a little bit of medium red. And you can just hit the sides of the flower with that shade and you're adding another dimension to the flower. Super simple. This is beginner 101 on making simple, pretty flowers. I'm showing you, you can show this to your kids and they could paint this. They really can. The trick always is the consistency of the paint the brush and how much paint you have on the brush. And that's why the dabbing on the paper towel is always good. If you have too much paint on there, it's going to bleed all out and it's going to get all messy. So there you go. We have three simple flowers. And if you can combine those three, mix them up together, you have like a wildflower field, you know, or you can just put um, some over here on the bottom, some on here on the top, or just a few bouquet of the of the different ones in the middle. And that's how you make the composition different and unique and play around with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming and stopping by. I hope you have a great day and I hope you learned something today. Take care.